Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have another pen in front of me. It is another Estabrook, but which one? I'm going to spoil it right now. No, it is not the white Esty. It is a different Esty. This is courtesy of Sarah of Ginger Peachy Pens. And I also think there are other two, I think two or three people who tagged me in this and sent me this post because they knew that this was one that I was looking for and it was on my wish list. So let's go ahead and open this box. While I'm opening it, I'll tell you the story. Um, Sarah was selling this back in February and uh, in terms of shipping, shipping in Canada is quite expensive, but I also knew that I was going to be in LA or my aunt was going to be in LA and I thought, well, why not just ship it to my uncle who lives in LA and my aunt will bring it back home for me. And my aunt just got back home from her visit to LA this past Monday. Today is Friday that I'm filming this and I am so excited to finally have this in my hand. So, ta-da! So this is the Esterbrook Esty in Blue Moon, or yes, Blue Moon, and it has the gold trim. Why was this on my list? Well, I love the different colors of the blue, and I feel like it definitely has a lot more depth because even as I'm looking at it, some parts of that cracked ice resin look like a brighter blue, and then some parts look grayish purple. It's just got so much depth to it. It is beautiful. Now I will compare this to the other Estes that I have in my collection, but this makes number six, <laughs> the sixth Esty in my collection. And I'm not going to do as much of a detailed review on this because I have so many Estes, so I've done a fair amount of reviews on this, but I do want to show you all the Estes that I have and the different grinds that two of my Estes have and what I'd like to get on my Estes in the future. So here is the Once in a Blue Moon. Let me get the rest of the Estes here. So here we have the Blue Moon and then we have my most recent one before this one is the Lilac Esty. Then the first Esty that I ever received was in a giveaway this time last year, and this is the Nouveau Bleu. And I was always wondering whether these two were different enough for me to justify getting the Blue Moon. And yes, you can see here how different Nouveau Bleu and Blue Moon are. This is a darker cracked ice resin, and there's little pieces of brown in there, which really go well with the gold trim, whereas this one has the lighter blue cracked ice, but then there's some that look translucent purple and gray. It's just beautiful. Then after that, I did end up buying the Rainforest Esty off of Reddit, and then I bought the Petrified Forest, and then I also bought, do I even have enough room in the camera here? Hold on, let's move these. Loving the rainbow order so far. And then I bought the honeycomb. Did I think that my SD collection was going to look like this a year after my very first SD? No, <laughs> but I'm pretty happy actually with my Esterbrook SD collection. Why do I love my Esterbrook SD so much? Well, when I received my first ever Esterbrook SD, it was from it was a giveaway from, directly from Esterbrook and I had never tried them before and I didn't know what all the hype was and here I am down the rabbit hole of Esterbrook Estes and I've completely drank the Estee juice. But basically what I love about this is that this pen, you have the spring cap mechanism in there so that when you are actually capping your pen, there's that little spring mechanism that will help to seal it. But what I also love about this particular pen is that it is so comfortable in my hand. It is the most comfortable pen that I own. And with these as well, let's do it with the blue moon here, that these are all cartridge converters. 
Oh, look at that nib. I didn't even look at that yet, but these are all cartridge converters. Easy to fill. I don't mind a piston filler. I've never had a vacuum filler, but really my favorite filling mechanism is the uh, converter here. And then look at just that beautiful nib on that Blue Moon compared to some of the newer Estes that I've received that are the newer and, and plainer nibs. I really like that that Blue Moon has the more detailed nib. That is beautiful. So this particular SD that I purchased off of Sarah from Ginger Peachy Pens is in a medium nib, but what I also like about the SDs is that you can switch the nibs around. These are all uh, Yovo steel nibs, so you can switch them around between the different SD models, but what I like about the Yovo nibs is that you can get them ground, and really I have so many pens that take Yovo nibs that I feel very comfortable with getting these gr nibs ground. So this one is a medium nib. And the other ones that I have here, I have the Petrified Forest in an extra fine, which writes beautifully. My first ever SD was in the Nouveau Bleu and that was in a fine. But what I'm gonna show you here as well, what I like about the SDs is that it has the vintage adapter. So you can grab, I say grab, but you can purchase vintage SD pens and there's a whole website that goes into detail about all the different vintage Estabrook nibs. And with this adapter, it allows you to use a specific converter in the grip section and the vintage nib and put it on to your modern Esterbrook SD. So you have the ability to use vintage nibs in your Esterbrook SD. So that's one of the reasons why I love that as well. And I could put that on any of these Esterbrook SDs. And so that's one nib option. The other nibs that I have in here, I have this Estabrook SD that I purchased from Reddit, and this one is a fine, but I had this ground down to a fine, cursive, smooth italic. And I'll do a quick writing sample in a little bit here, but basically it's like a very small stub nib with slightly sharper edges, and I absolutely love that. There's still one more grind that I wanna get in my Estabrook SDs, but we'll talk about that later. And then like I said, Petrified Force is an extra fine. My Lilac is in an extra fine. And then we have the Honeycomb, which has a needlepoint nib, which was done by Kirk Spear of Pen Realm. And you could just see how fine that tipping is there. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll do a quick writing sample of all of these. And then what I'd like in the future as well is to have an architect grind in one of the SDs so that I do have the option of my favorite grinds, which really is the architect, the cursive smooth italic, but I also love the needlepoint nib. I've tried the journaler nib and I feel like that is just a bit too big and broad for my writing. The scribe nib, again, I think it's just a little bit too broad for my writing in particular. And I've tried the techo nib and it's just not something that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a fun nib, but with the way that I write and what I use my pens for, it just ne wouldn't necessarily work for me. So, oh, loving this rainbow of SD. So I will do a quick writing sample of all of these right now. So there are all of my different SDs. I will be testing using Pilot Orochizuku Sukio. However, this Esterbrook SD actually has ink in it already. So I will just do what is in here. So it may not be the most scientific in terms of light testing, but I'll be show you what's in here. So this here is my Esterbrook. SD in lilac and this has an extra fine nib and that just gives you some idea of the line that you get with that particular extra fine. Now this has Ferris wheel press. I'm just gonna write the ink down for this one. This has Ferris wheel press Aurorealis in it and it is gorgeous. So that is the extra fine nib on my Esterbrook SD. Now I wanna actually show you what the fine nib looks like. 
on the Nouveau Bleu. That was my first SE. So I have a fine nib on this one. I'll go ahead and dip that in here. So this one is the Esther Brook SD in Nouveau Bleu. And this has a fine nib. And I'll write the ink for this one as well. So Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsukio. And again, looking at the line, you don't see much of a difference here, but the fine nib is slightly broader than the extra fine. You can actually see that a little bit in these figure eights, how much broader this one is versus that one. So that is the Nouveau Bleu with the fine nib. Then I will show you the Blue Moon. This one has a medium nib, but I will actually be getting this ground down by Kirk Spear next time I see him. I want to get this ground down to a reverse architect. So on the reverse side will be an architect and on the other side will be an extra fine. So this one is Esterbrook SD in the blue moon and this has the medium nib again with pilot Hiroshizuku Tsukio you can see also the difference just even between the fine nib and the medium nib already just in the writing sample but in the whoops in the line widths yeah you can definitely see a difference between the fine and the medium. I feel like the figure eight really brings out the difference in that line. So that is the medium nib on the Blue Moon SD. So then those are the regular or the normal nibs. What then I have here is I'm going to show you this one here. This one is the Rainforest SD and this one has the fine cursive smooth italic done by Jack Hernandez. Jack Hernandez is, I say local to me, he's about a three hour drive from where I live and I send him pens occasionally. So this is the Estherbrook SD in Rainforest and this has a fine cursive smooth italic. Again, with Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsukio. You can already see there's a little bit of the line difference there, so I'm going to do this one slightly differently. So you can see how fine that line is going across, but then going down you can see the difference in line width there, and I love it. It's slightly sharper than a regular stub, but it's small enough to suit my writing, and I absolutely love it. So slicey, yet smooth. So that is my Esterbrook SD Rainforest with a fine cursive smooth italic nib. Then the next one we have here is the Honeycomb. And this has the needlepoint nib done by Kirk Spear. Just dipping that in again. And this one is the finest of all of the nib offerings. And you can already see that. So Esterbrook SD Honeycomb. If I can spell. And this is in the needlepoint. Again with Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsukio. And look at the fine line that this one is going to. There, see, look at how fine that line is. And then even in the figure eights, how fine that line is. I love that. 
the way that that needlepoint nib feels to a lot of people it would just be too toothy but i actually find it the perfect amount of tooth but there's also um, depending on the type of ink that you're using there's a good smoothness to it as well and it's almost like you crave the feeling of the nib against the paper it's just wonderful i love it and it suits my really really small writing as well then the last one I'm going to show you here is actually the Vintage Nib Adapter. I switched things around a little bit. So this has the Vintage Nib 9128, and I'll just show you briefly what this one looks like. So this is my oh, Esterbrook SD, and this is in the Petrified forest and this is nib 9128 this was given to me by my secret santa on reddit so pilot Hiroshizuku sukio which i actually used this last month with this pen so this pen actually this nib has a little bit of an architect grind to it so you can see that in the cross strokes it's a little wider and then in the down strokes it is finer what I want to show you as well there's a little bit of flex in this but this particular nib does catch on the paper a little bit so I don't always like to make it flex because I feel like it makes it catch on the paper but it's still it flexes really nicely so that is the Vintage 9128 nib there on the Esterbrook SD Petrified Forest. So those are all the different nib combinations, nib grinds that I currently have on all my SDs. And really, I love the SD because it's so comfortable in my hand, but I also love the fact that I have all of these different nib choices that I can use. Like I really like the extra fine and I love the fine. I'm really excited to get my medium ground into a reverse architect with an extra fine nib as well or i'll just see what i can do with that but i love the fine cursive smooth italic one of my favorite favorite grinds and then the needlepoint not something i thought i would really like because i tried something similar with a platinum 3776 but this is just there's something about it that I really, really enjoy. And then we have Petrified Forest here with the vintage nib. I did get another nib actually from my Secret Santa. I haven't tried it yet. It is this nib, the 9450, and it is an extra firm posting nib. And I don't think this one has a lot of flex to it. And I tried it and it looks like really, really, really fine here. I'll have to give it a try another day. Um, but it, the thing with that, nib adapters that it allows you to try the vintage nibs and put them on your modern pen which i think is a great great alternative all right but that is it for me and my new blue moon pen thank you so much sarah of ginger peachy pens for putting this on sale first of all because i love it i love the blues and i love how it has a particular place in my collection and all of these are different enough that I don't feel like I need any more in terms of SDs. These are beautiful. I do have like a dream SD in mind or maybe two dream SDs in mind that are not currently in production, have never been in production. They're just a vision in my head. And if those two ever come to fruition, then they will be added to my collection. But for now, my collection will stay at the six Esterbrook SDs. All right, and that is it for me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.